Um, so look, let's talk through some of this stuff, right? They, I suppose they would be regarded, some of what your beliefs would be regarded as unorthodox, but like, I'm going to keep an open mind, hopefully people at home keep an open mind. So let, let's kind of go through it. Uh, so it starts, does it maybe with 9-11? It's that, yeah, I, I, I think somebody sent me a video, or it was either a picture of the, the immediate aftermath of uh, the Pentagon attack, mm -hmm. and it showed this 14-foot um, diameter hole, and there was no imprint from the wings, there was no imprint from the vertical stabiliser, and there was no imprint from the, from the steel and titanium engines, and I'm going, okay. what, what on earth's going on here? Right. And uh, so, <laughs> so then we're told that a, that, a, that a plane allegedly crashed into it, and then if I do a little bit more study and I find out that this guy who was allegedly piloting the plane, a guy called Hani Hanwar, had got rudimentary piloting skills and uh, he basically the, the guy couldn't even take off or land. Right. And yet when you look at the, the, uh, the manoeuvre that he was supposed to have made, I mean a crack military pilot couldn't have made that, couldn't have made that manoeuvre. Okay. So that, that got my suspicions up even more. And yeah. then the FBI release um, four still frames. Uh, of the alleged attack with a no plane in sight. And I'm going, what? What's going on? Okay. So that kind of uh, started me, me off and, and just, just I, I wanted to explore the whole thing. And, and as I said, I, I took an interest in understanding well, who's actually, who's behind this and why, okay, why so would who, they do who such a thing? Okay, so who is behind 9-11 then? Well, see, what, what I, how I understand what is happening is that, that the, 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 uh, the powers that be are, are using basically fake terrorism and now phony environmentalism to incrementally bring us into a more, a more controlled society. And okay. what, what, I've, what I've come to understand is that, and the European Union was a stepping stone, stone towards this, is that what they want to do is set up a, a one world government. And if people want evidence of this, just go onto my site, uh, jimcore.com, and there's, there's a section of one world government with loads of quotes from the elite and their insiders talking about this forthcoming one world government. So, so the, the, when you say the powers that be, you're talking about a pan-global pan kind of uh, bunch of people who are essentially uh, orchestrating everything. Yeah, it's, yes. it's a lease that have basically been in who control. Are they, are they from, Americans? From are, are they no, no, they're internationalists, they're globalists. Uh, who, yeah. wh who we're talking about uh, basically is uh, elements within the elite international banking families that have uh, allied and intermarried with European royalty and aristocracy. Okay, so it's, it's a bunch of people who are, who are running everything. How come none of us know anything about this? Or, you know,